Ahoy hoy brothers, Avi here. I'm here in the Badlands National Park. Need I go on? Okay, the Badlands National Park in South Dakota. Mosasaurs, Nimravids, our friends the Brontotheres, or you could talk geology, like the White River, the Sod Table, the Classic Dikes, or the Big Pig Dig, where over 19,000 fossils have been found. All those things are an amazing, wonderful topic for a video, which is why it makes sense that most of them have had amazing, wonderful videos made about them. Today, we're going to talk about a more humble, but no less interesting story, that of the Oreo Dance. So what are Oreo dots? Or as some scientific professionals have been calling them, Oreo donuts. <laughs> the jokes write themselves. Anyway, Oreo dots are members of a diverse group in the order Artiodactyls, which are even toed hoofed mammals native to North America. Oreo dots are a common fossil of the Badlands National Park, and some of their close Artiodactyl relatives, like bison and bighorn sheep, still live here today. Their fossils mainly date from the Middle Eocene Epoch to the end of the Miocene, between 40 and 5.3 million years ago. The Oreodont's closest living relative, though still very distant, is the camel, which makes some intuitive sense because they do somewhat resemble a camel-pig-sheep hybrid. As for the life of the Oreodonts, they were herbivorous mammals. It's easy to imagine that they were grazers, mainly feeding off grasses. But true grasses, and grazers along with them, did not appear until the late Oligocene and after. In reality, their diet mainly consisted of leaves and plant shoots. Paleontologists think they likely also lived in herds to stave off predators like the aforementioned Nimruvid. In addition, some oreodonts, like Leptocania, had specially evolved ear chambers that had large auditory bulla, the casing for inner ear bones, which indicates to paleontologists that they had large ears and were also specialized for hearing low-frequency sounds. In contrast to the belief of those scientific professionals mentioned at the beginning, the name Oreodont did not originate as a mashing of fried confectionery and hydrogenated biscuit. In truth, the name Oreodont comes from the Greek, please forgive my pronunciation, Oreo or Oros, meaning mountain, and Dont or Donti, meaning tooth. So, their name translates directly to mountain tooth. This is, of course, because of the shape of their teeth, resembling to some a mountain range. Yes, this sheep-sized animal that once walked the savannas of the late Eocene is definitely quite an outstanding creature. Thank you so much for watching Paleontology Across the U.S. For more information on what we talked about today, check out our sources in the description. 